Hello you guys and welcome back to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkion Biersma and today we're going to do an unboxing video. Yeah, this is a little bit of a weird angle because I already have the camera in position for the uh, unboxing itself. So I will be out of screen soon. But I just want to say a thank you to Eslo because uh, Elzo, I'm sorry, Elzo because he uh, sent me this this box. It just came in with the uh, with the mail. Today's Tuesday, and I probably upload this video on Friday or Saturday. I think it will be Friday. But anyhow, I think it was on transport for just one day uh, because we both live in the Netherlands, so that's uh, very convenient, of course. And uh, I asked uh, for a piece of this orchid because this is uh, one I don't. Uh, already have and uh, well it came to speak that we uh, that you have this plant so I asked you and uh, you said what well, well I'm, um, I'm not that big of a fan of this plant so I'm going to send you the whole plant so thank you so much um, yeah and I wanted this plant for for quite a, some years actually but I didn't see it online for sale or at least not the, uh, the times that it was online for sale so uh, I'm very ha very happy with this I know already but let's have a look inside of the box I'm going to uh, be out of the screen so uh, as we just uh, did uh, discuss I took the address information off you did um, a very good job on packing this up with uh, quite an amount of tape <laughs> so it wouldn't fall out so yeah that you did very uh, a very good job you said it was the first time that you did uh, send orchids well it's a good start and you also did leave the notes on the side of the pots uh, but box to leave this side up so that's always convenient of course never know if they really watch this but of course but yeah at least the information is there so far so good I think let's try to open this yes there we go okay am I in frame yes and here we go some bubble wrap for the colder night did it have? Let me check. I think I can. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's quite a size. Let me take it out of the box. Put the box to the side and put it back in frame. I think it's well uh, well wrapped, no problem at all. Some tape that needs to come loose. There we go. And here it is. So yeah, you said not all roots would be uh, were uh, completely fine because it didn't have a repot yet. So there's some, some bark left on those roots, which I need to take off because I'm going to grow this uh, in uh, a self-watering setup. But yeah, it has a heck of a lot of uh, new growth. So a, a little piece of the plant would be uh, would have been fine as well. But you, like you said, you didn't uh, like the, the, the blooms that much. So, uh, so therefore uh, it wasn't a problem. Well, thank you so much. It's a beautiful plant. And uh, I will uh, will clean it up later on, and then I will uh, put it inside. We even have something here that did break off, so I need to. Uh, I'm going to cut this part. It's an rhizom that can uh, can come off. And <laughs> you probably think, well, you may have guessed that it's a it's a Miltonia, and yes, it is. It's the Miltonia Moriana. Uh, I think it's also royalty and then comes Alba <laughs> so uh, this is the Alba version of the purple one which is also in the giveaway and yeah I didn't uh, have the Alba version and uh, and you did but you didn't like it as much so uh, now now it's here it's beautiful absolutely beautiful thank you so much it looks really really healthy and uh, like I said I'm going to clean it up and put it in a new system. I need to find a, a suitable pot for it. It has uh, several new growths on it, so uh, yeah, it will take off quite uh, quite quickly, I believe. And this is a fairly nice sized plant, so I'm really really happy with it. 
One more time, thank you so much. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. So yeah, this was uh, the unboxing. I, uh, like I said, I'm going to clean it up. Uh, maybe I'm going to film it, I'm not sure yet because I have a, a heck of a lot of uh, repotting videos. We will so uh, you know what, you guys, I thought, uh, I just finished the video, I did my outro, but I cut it out because I thought, you know what, it's not that long yet. Uh, time wise so let's do an up potting as well because this one needs to obviously be up potted it's uh, bare rooted so it's in stress already uh, I will put a little bit more stress into it um, as a matter of fact because then I have a nice clean repot and the uh, arc can start established in my uh, setup in the new media etc so I'm just going to continue this and that's why I uh, thought uh, let's let's Put the video back on the camera and uh, let's uh, let's continue uh, this video by also including a uh, up potting. So uh, that's what we're going to do from our uh, from this part in the video. And I might use want to use a scissors, but first we need to clean up the roots. I will uh, position the camera a little bit better for that. I, th I think this will will do. So yeah, uh, as long already said that there are some older roots there i didn't uh, repot it yet and that's okay but yeah this is going to be quite messy so yeah i'm going to damage quite some roots here but i, I need that media out and this one is just it's such a big uh, mess of roots done this before and they will um will do fine later on it's a very vigorous plant but yeah i need to that uh, in or, uh, organic media out so i can put inorganic media in so yeah i'm and i, I uh, will break definitely some roots but it needs to be done like i said it's already in stress so i'm continue this and uh, then it can take a rest and and establish more so i try to uh, loosen up the roots as much as i can yeah, I think there's even some sphagnum moss in there. But I, like I said, I will break roots. There's no other way for me to uh, do this. And I feel a rhizome here and a rhizome here. So that's very deep in the pot. So therefore, I think it's a good thing to open this up because that needs to be, uh, be out of the media. Or at least that moist media that I'm going to use. But it has a lot of uh, new growth on the way so it should be fine but yeah i'm going to break this up slowly but surely to uh, get all the media out you know what i probably may speed up this part because this is going to take a while <laughs> so uh let's speed this up and uh, i will see you in uh, in a few seconds <laughs> yeah a little uh, update now <laughs> so what i'm doing is just pulling these pieces out and i think you cannot see it that well when it's speeded up and sometimes i just try to uh, pull a little bit on the roots and see if they uh, want to get loose and the more media we get out the easier it will get but i must have say this this market has obviously quite a lot of roots which is beautiful that's a very happy uh, Miltonia. Well, not at the moment, of course. <laughs> but um, yeah, this has to be done. Even though on this, I just try to break the bark like this, and then it most of the times it will fall off. I need as much off as I can. And yes, I'm going to break them, but they can branch. Most of the time, this will start branching later on. So yeah, and like I said, they have to do this. It's also a nice opportunity to clean out the roots. And what I most of the times do is just uh, pull the vellum in and I leave the, the actual root in there. If it doesn't come off that easily because those little roots you see here like this, for example, I hope you can see that. Just a vellum off and that's it. 
those will not give much problem at all i think I've done this for years now but uh, the actual uh, vellum that starts to rot that needs to come off at least most of it but yeah it's not that easy with such a beautiful root system a little bit bit of discoloration here but it's also from the media and we have some older roots here that just uh, basically did fell off but there are still uh, quite a lot of good roots and that's beautiful but it's not as easy if you go from this into a completely new system with uh, inorganic media uh, then you need to go slowly on uh, filling up the reservoir uh, which you have to do basically every time you put an orchid in there but especially with uh, with ones that are really established they really need in my, in my opinion a little bit more time to establish if you have a fairly young plant with not that much roots or this one wouldn't have as much it will start growing roots it's easier these roots yeah most most of them probably will not adapt that easily so they first need to start to branch out and we can use those branches so therefore um, to let that happen it may take a little bit more time i found but with Miltonias, as you can see, if they do take off, they do take off and <laughs> it's not a big problem anymore. And I do see a bit of a yellow. Yeah, that one is soft. Um, here, a little bit of a yellow bulb. Hope you can see it. There it is, this one. But that goes off fairly easily, I think. Yeah, let me check. Ah, you this might be two plants in one pot there we go so yeah that one was starting to rot so that needed to come off I th I'm not sure if here is a rhizome yeah there's a rhizome still um, so we need to clean that up of course let me try this from this yeah it's still one plant <laughs> we have a rhizome here coming from these bulbs going to the left and going to the right no we don't ah oh, it is sometimes not easy to find the actual rise my guys doesn't matter that much because I don't want to take it out completely but I will clean it up in there there are the most old roots and to be honest I still think this might be a loose part yeah let me check this is not no it's not one plant and that's okay it makes it even a little bit easier for me so I will take this plant apart this part and I like I said, I'm going to break some roots. Try to do this slowly. Because in here is where the most old media is. So I need to go in there. Otherwise it will keep on rotting, of course. But I try to untangle the roots as well. And I also give a bit of pressure. So let's see if it gets when it gets loose. Let me pull a little bit of those roots out. We are getting there. Not sure if you can see it as well, but we are getting there. Yeah, mm, I don't see a breaking point, so it looks like one part of the plant. Uh, another plant, I'm sorry, not a part of the plant. But I'm not sure because the rest of the part plant looks so big. <laughs> so you would imagine that if this were two plants, the other part would be almost equally big but not sure about that here we go so this is also a bit of a part but you can see here are some older media breaking down so I cannot have that in my self watering setup also these roots there goes a clump of roots which was probably from the other orchid but this is Um, yeah, I'm going to take off these older bulbs. Those are old already. 
and a little bit low in the pot. I'm going to clean it up. Yeah, it looks clean to me. So here we go. Just a, a little piece of the plant, a little bit bark there. But I will lay that aside so we can uh, continue working on this one. You can see several these are several stumps that I was working with. One, two, three. So it may be even more plants. That was <laughs> why I didn't was sure what to do because I don't know which goes where basically. And uh, I think these are yeah a few more plants, but that's okay. Let's. Uh, work with this part you can see where it's very black i hope you can see at uh, this part so that needs to be cleaned up that's why i uh, am doing this while we edit i try to make it as clean as possible so i don't have to uh, interfere it when it's just starting to settle in my climate so therefore i'm continuing to do this as much as i can um yeah, you see, this is also a part of a plant. Let me uh, see if I can find out where it goes. So you can see this, I think. Whoops. Here, there is a rhizome here, and here is a rhizome. So, and those are not attached. So that's probably telling me that it's, there's another part in this, of this, of a plant here. So if I can set it loose, <laughs> it's even going to be easier to clean up the root system. So therefore I'm continuing finding out which, uh, how many parts of plant we do have here. So, um yeah it's this part i believe there is a bit of part of another plant in there <laughs> and a lot of roots therefore but i'm i think we're going to uh yeah those are roots just checking here not sure how well this shows up on camera i'm sorry but i'm just trying to find the rhizomes with my fingers and to find out if I can pull or not already. Pull it basically apart. So we can clean this up a bit better. Really is attached here. There's a bit of clump of roots needs to be untangled. So the old bark can uh, come out. So yes, looks a bit rough, but it, it needs to be done. Later on, the plant will uh, probably thank me <laughs> because in the cell watering system, you can imagine if you put water into this, it will all start to rot. And I don't want to lose this plant, obviously. So, therefore, I will take my time and figure out where those roots go. There we go. That was a part already. And here we go. And more roots. Very long roots, there we go. So I'm going to break a few more. <laughs> Just pulling them out, there we go. So there were another piece of the plant. It's growing very unruly. This is actually one plant. So you can now clearly see what it can do. So one rise, it goes to the left and to the right, to the left and to the right, and that's how they, uh, the Miltonians like to grow. But look at this, it's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's a fairly long rhizome here. So that would be buried inside of the pot. And that's not what I want because it will turn soft and start to rot. So let me uh, clean, uh, cut that part off as well. Make a clean cut right about here. So it doesn't fall apart, but we will get loose of this long rhizome. There we go. So this is also a nice part to put up I will make a uh, 
a uh, one pot for this I think this is well actually here's a new growth on this rhizome you can see it this the other one did break off during postage sadly I'm not sure what to do with this but yeah this new growth seems to be fine so hopefully it will yeah we'll clean this up later on let me check one more time the rhizome that looks clean okay let's see let's see let's see do we have this part left is this one no <laughs> look i still have two rhizomes here uh let me see yeah this is definitely not our two parts of plants let me uh, un tangle these guys wrangle tingle there we go so looks like you sent me four plants <laughs> which is great here we go here we go almost um, something is not working as I would like it yes and there we go flower not a part <laughs> really growing uh, strangely but you can see now one rhizome and how it goes to the right and to the left and then it starts shooting out again and again and again beautiful I, I really enjoy uh, these miltonias how they grow sometimes a little bit inconvenient to pot them up but still beautiful and again I'm going to cut off the back end of the plant the old part let me do that quickly here so there we go so another part with a lot of new growth some roots but you can see these roots do look very well so we can work with these and uh, new ones are on the way so they will not have as much uh, rotting around them that's why uh, we know sometimes needs to go really go in there clean those root systems up it's not not very easy to do in the sense that yeah it looks like we uh, damaged a lot of roots but these are old and, and most of them were tired and now we can do a really clean up and in the beginning i thought well you know what i'm not going to do this i just potted them up but always always i needed to take them out after about two months three months new roots started to grow but then they stopped growing because there's was way too much um rotting going on because of that old media ph issues you will get because the rotting materials will start uh, getting uh, uh putting you a ph too low very low levels etc so yeah just go in there a uh, little bit of mold you can clean it up and now uh, it will now you, you probably don't have to repot it for two three years you know how I am I don't uh, repot them if they don't need it so they can on, go on for quite some years so they will re-establish re at least that's the plant uh, plant <laughs> that's the plan of course here we go a little bit of rhizome there again it can go away so we don't start to bury it so yeah here this is an also a very nice part of the plan so four four parts let me clean up and then i will uh, uh have another look and clean the, the the parts of the plants up as well with some hydrogen peroxide etc so i will be uh, right back so i did clean my uh, tray out with the alcohol so it's nice and clean and we sterilized it as much as we can this is my hydrogen peroxide ready to go so let's have a look at the first part yes there we go so let's clean uh, this up old siege out of the way and the new growths we're going to leave there or the eyes possible new growths a little bit of bark still falling out let's put it to the side here we still have some bark left A little bit wouldn't be uh, the end of the world, but I try to take off as much as I can. Even some more, some old roots falling out. Yeah, but we're 
going to do no. So let me check some old sheets, a few of them. Let's take off. There we go. So hydrogen peroxide and really spray it very well inside of those sheets. So old sheets, rise them. Um, you never know, it stops uh, the rotting for at least for a while. <laughs> and maybe some blue snails, but I didn't see any blue snails at, at all. So it's probably fine, uh, probably fine, but it's just, you never know. Yeah, a bit of a sheet I can take off there. There we go. And that should be enough. So let's grab another piece. Here we go. A little bit of bark still left. A little bit of extra cleaning up. Here is a little bit of bark on those new roots. <coughs> so here we go. Let's give it a nice spray. Let me hear. Yes, zizzing. Uh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful new roots, root tips on there. So yeah, I think this plant will be fine. It's going to a, a rough path <laughs> at the moment. But just continue that path so it's over uh, quick, uh, quicker. That's my philosophy on this, which I do with uh, basically all with my new plants. If they arrive, with the postage, I'm taking them out of the box as soon as I can. I don't leave them for a few hours. Some people do that and probably will work. I never had problems. I uh, think I want to get new air in there as, as, possibly, uh, as, as quickly as possible. That's, like I said, it's just my way to go at things. And uh, so far, so good. I never had any problems with that. Because if you wait, the cold is in there. If they are very cold, you keep the cold in there even longer, even though you try to let it uh, let it uh, warm up, but still. I'm just taking it out, fresh air, some light in, works for me. Yeah, maybe you can hear it. Not sure if that uh, did pick up, but anyhow. <laughs> that one is doing its thing, and then we go to the last piece. Beautiful big pieces, the last two. Let me see. Did we take the bark out? Yes. Okay, let's start. Spray this one as well. Especially the darker parts there. That were hard to reach, but now I'm, I'm happy we did uh, take it uh, apart, basically. <laughs> so we can really uh, reach these parts. Here was some, uh, I'm sorry, here was some rotting and mold going on. So I now really can reach those parts, like I said. And long term, this works the best I, uh, I experienced over the years. Just go in there and get the do job done, basically. Yeah, this is also working. So while this is uh, soaking a little bit in the hydrogen peroxide, which normally I leave on for two or three minutes, and then it stops sizzling and I just start up putting them. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to look for a pot. I have no idea at this moment. <laughs> so I will be uh, right back with everything already on, on the table. So I have uh, all my materials, I think. I might uh, need a little bit more of this. I will have it uh, ready on that side of the door, so I will grab it if we need to. But I have a big pot because uh, we know Miltonias a little bit and they seem to like my climate. So uh, yeah, I think a fairly big pot is suitable so it can grow on hopefully for quite some years quite some years a water meter because it's going to live up uh, the shelf next to my uh, purple uh, morliana so i have both of them uh, on the top shelf so this will make it my watering a little bit easier so i can see how much water is in, actually in there from a distance <laughs> so let's put in a little layer of the bigger pumice in first
because there are holes in the path and these uh, these pieces of pumice do not fit through the holes these do so yeah otherwise I will uh, lose quite some media so let's put it in like that and yeah then we have the dusty one I'm going to continue a little bit because we uh, now do not have much roots to start with some so I can uh, layer this already a little bit more Very dust, dusty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let me grab something. Wait a second. So I did grab my sprayer so I can wet it a little bit. Normally I don't do this because it's, when it's wet it gets a little bit sticky. But yeah, the dust, you guys, is driving me crazy. <laughs> so maybe this helps avoiding the dust a little bit. Just a row order with uh, some seaweed. But it's anyhow what it will get. Yeah, we still have it a little bit, but it's a bit better, I think. That's the uh, downside of the small plumbers. It keeps on uh, being a little bit dusty. Even though uh, you wash it, it will uh, create some dust again. But anyhow, we will uh, figure something out and this works better. Because I'm allergic to dust, so yeah, <laughs> not the best combination. Uh, again, a little bit of spraying. Here we go. See, so yeah, I think we might need even more media. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. This is actually quite funny. This is me not being pre prepared to do a repot. Turns out I'm running out uh, on uh, the small pumice, <laughs> so I have more big pumice. Maybe actually it's even uh, more, a bit more beneficial because I use the bigger pumice as well for my Miltonias, even though they have the smaller roots, but I will mix it in with the smaller one, so uh, it will make a beautiful uh, media after all. So you know what, we're going to uh, uh, redo this a little bit. So I can mix the media in a bit better. But yeah, this is me not being prepared. <laughs> Here we go. And I don't mind it, but I'm sorry if you do. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, sometimes it happened. I, uh, like I said, I didn't uh, know that I had to repot it immediately. This new orchid. But anyhow, uh, like I said, it might be even beneficial because now we do get a little bit of this mixture in there small and bigger pumice, which is beautiful. It works very well. I have this for my other Miltonias as well. So uh, I know from experience it will be, uh, be great. Actually, this is, creates a little bit more air in there, which is uh, even more beneficial. So it's okay, completely okay. But yeah, <laughs> this is me not being prepared. Otherwise, if I start, uh, or normally I should say, when I do my up puddings, re puddings, I look uh, if I have everything, especially the media ready. And pots I sometimes do in between because I know I have pots ready, but I'm not always know which one to use. Meanwhile, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> kicking things over here. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm trying to uh, figure out <laughs> where to put the plants. This is actually funny, you guys, isn't it? I found it to be funny. Uh, here we go. You see, because of that long rhizome, that's why I chose a bigger pot. It already looks like it's basically filling up the pot, uh, which is uh, okay, which is okay. Otherwise, it will end up with a lot of little pieces of plants, which I, I don't like, actually, if I don't have to. So I'm trying to uh, put this as much as in the middle of the pot as I can. Let's see how we do here. We can have a bit of plant here or there. <laughs> um, yeah, this will be out of the pot pretty soon if it starts to grow, I believe, because it's so big. But then we, uh, we will see what to do. I will try to put it in, push it back, I, uh, I mean, I meant, 
a little bit. But yeah, it will find its way, I'm pretty sure. Let me see, I'm still in frame. Yes. And now just filling up the pot, as usual. Let me do it like this, a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in. You might want to see this a little bit closer up. And turn the camera, here we go. Yes, I had some cinnamon on there, uh, believe it or not. I didn't film it, of course, because <laughs> this was already a little bit uh, messier than usual. But yeah, I did uh, seal the wounds there. So for those who are wondering what to do, if I did something, I'm sorry, something with the wounds. Yes, I did. Yeah, so you guys, this is me being unprepared. <laughs> a little bit messy. Maybe it's nicer for the video, so you never know what's coming, because I don't know what's coming. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I like these kind of uh, spur-of-the-moment uh, videos. It's almost like there's more happening there. <laughs> Let's have a look. This one is a little bit buried. This is the smaller piece. Yeah, you can see it there. So I'm lifting that up a little bit. And yeah, I can put some media in between those pieces. There's a little bit of a gap. Uh, let me see if I can find my way. Yes, there we go. In. Yes. Same story here, you cannot see it with all the leaves. What's happening here? My thumb is itchy. Normally I wear gloves, but I did take them off because gloves annoy me. I just can't stand the feel of it, but yeah. <laughs> That's another problem. <laughs> no, it's not a problem at all. But I don't know what it is, it's plastic, uh, well, it's, just, it's, it's uh, latex stuff. I'm just filling up the gaps here because we created some gaps here because we have several pieces of plants and I think it's coming along very nicely. Let's have a look. I'm just going to zoom out. So here we are, look at that. It already uh, looks like a very large plant with all those pieces in there. But beautiful, very nice color as well. So yeah, we are almost done. Almost, we're going to put a little bit of pebbles on top, like we always do, if I don't forget. like I do as well. <laughs> there we go. And then we have a little part here it needs a little bit of pebbles like this and yeah this new growth here this one is already very close to the edge of the pot but yeah on the other hand on the other side that one is also very close to the edge of the pot so yeah I could have made more pieces I know but yeah just let we're going to see how this will uh, will uh, grow on and then we uh, will decide what to do with it Hopefully within a year or so, or two, it would be even better. But I think that we need to cut this a little bit earlier. But we, uh, we will see. This is so far the repot. I apologize a little bit for the uh, non 
prepared part. <laughs> Normally I, I am a bit more uh, prepared. But yeah, this was just something uh, that needed to be done. So I think, uh, I think we did well. And I just decided to film it because I think there are quite some people that uh, like the uh, repots. I just uh, saw, or I just, I did uh, get those comments on my last videos where I'm asking if you uh, still like the, the repots and odd puddings, etc. But people do uh, seem to like them, so uh, therefore I uh, will have that in mind and I try to film as much as I can. Uh, I also try to film different orchids because uh, same type of orchids every week or a week or so uh, for repotting is not that fun to watch, I think. So I'm making a playlist, if you may have noticed that. So I have quite some repotting videos in there because from time to time I do get questions about the system that I use, how I grow my orchids, how I let them adapt, etc. So I have my playlist uh, for that. So you guys, uh, this may and be ended up quite a bit longer video than planned, but anyhow, I just put everything in there. Now it can take a break. It can it can start to uh, uh, get used to my climate and take a bit of rest, I think, because it's been through a lot. First the post is, well, first of all, uh, coming out of the pot, uh, back at El Elzo's, and then he posted it. Uh, it was not that warm, not too cold to post uh, orchids this, uh, last night but still it was fairly cold then it came here came out of the pot and you saw we had to take off quite some roots uh we ended up with four pieces so yeah there's been been quite a lot for this orchid quite a lot of stress so i will put it inside of the greenhouse and i will show you where i put it because there is a reason a lodging behind uh why i chose that spot so let's uh, get over there so we are now uh, in my uh, miltonia section as you can see here are the uh, Merlianas, the purple ones. This is the one that I keep, and this is the one for the giveaway. And uh, I will pu put the Alba when, the, when there's room uh, up here. And well, actually, before it's, I really know for sure that it starts to take well into the new system. So if I see new roots, and if I see these new growths uh, continue to grow, as they shoot, then I will put it up there because there it does get uh, more light than here. Even though I have more Metonias here, they do well, but the uh, Morianas and the bigger ones do get really some light up there. So they will uh, probably get a little bit more yellower in, uh, in summer. That's okay, they really do uh, respond well to it. But yeah, therefore um, I leave this one here because too much light for an orchid that is not happy is also a big uh, form of stress. So therefore I keep it here not that close to the lamp, just let it settle in, but it will receive enough light, of course, to, uh, to make it, of keep it happy and to make it happier. But um, yeah, that, uh, that, that's uh, why it will be here. And I now will take it back in because I need to flush it. That is something I need to do as well, but that's not uh, that important. I have it here and there on my, in my videos, but yeah, it's just an easy flush with some or water and some seaweed just to uh, get the dust out. And uh, then some uh, nice hormones in there. That's why I use the seaweed, because I think they uh, do respond very well to it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, everything for now, I think. It looks uh, very amazing. So yeah, I'm really, really happy uh, with this uh, new addition to my collection. Thank you for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.